What's up guys, it's Meeting Out of Bay and welcome to the first segment of Hammock Talk. Now we're outside, we're in the south, you're gonna hear noises, birds, bears, gunshots, oh my. But this is really about my random thoughts, downloads as people say, um, maybe things that may make you think I'm crazy, I don't know. But let's just get into the first segment of Hammock Talk. Alright guys, so fun note or weird note about me is that when I go to sleep, I like to go to sleep to either ghost stories, you know, podcasts, um, horoscopes, and some random podcasts of certain creators, depending on if it's a fire night on their uh, panel, right? But mostly, I just go to sleep with horror stories, okay? Whatever, I'm weird, whatever. So, this particular night, I uh, was going to sleep to my cancer horoscope. This was probably about three days ago, I want to say. Maybe three, three, four days ago, right? And I know that I was asleep because when I woke up, y'all, I literally had drool. I'm just saying, I'm just going to be TMI. I literally had drool. Just It was just, I know I was sleeping good, right? I know I was sleeping good. So out of my sleep, and this happens a lot. This is why I'm about to start a dream journal or a download journal or whatever. And I may share most of those um thoughts when they come to me out of my sleep um, with you guys uh, I, I would love to depending on what they are if and if i can make sense of them so i wrote this literally out of my sleep okay and i'm gonna read to you guys what i wrote this is exactly what i wrote i didn't edit it or nothing okay um so it says i was listening to a horoscope and it got me thinking about why i am the way i am maybe may why I am the way I am, maybe. And why I'm able to see things or be sensitive to things that other people aren't. And I thought about it. And I had drowned when I was little. What if, what if I had to die in a sense to come alive? I had to die out of this matrix body to be able to see into my spiritual body in a sense. Now, I know it sounds crazy but it was just on my mind. I don't know where I'm going to take this thought, but don't forget it. And I, this is what I put in there because I knew I, I knew that I would forget it, okay? Sorry about the plane. So after the plane, let's, let me go back to what I said. So I said, I don't know where I'm going to take this thought, but don't forget it. Don't forget it, okay? I'm telling myself so when I see this in my email like what the hell is this right now what if by drowning somehow I was able to strip some of the codes or whatever was put upon me through what creation is now I believe there was a true creation but I think the creations after this have been manipulated and recycled and now they call it deja vu and I meant to put reincarnation but as I guess I was typing it, it autocorrected, but it put Vu Andre Carnation. <laughs> I'll try to put this a screenshot of this on the screen so you guys can read it again. Um, and all that ish. So, yeah. So, I don't know what I meant by that. I mean, you know, we always talk about that we have digital codes. I talk about digital codes. Um, people see spirits. Some people don't. I think everybody can see it. It just depends on if you want to tap in and use your gift. But this is more about, what do you guys think? This is my hammock talk. Peace.